Hey guys, thank you for coming to my next tutorial. I'm going to teach you guys how to get a good scale, like for cheerleading, or if you're a dancer, um, a good assisted arabesque and ponche, I think that's what they call it. But yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is isolate your hip sockets and to do that you can just keep um, holding them up to the side of your torso and then you want to move them around in circles so you can encourage the turnout when you're pulling it and always do it on both sides because you don't want to make them uneven. It's not good to have only a skill on one side and not have it on the other. Or maybe it's not so bad but it's really cool if you have them on both sides so yeah. And the next thing you want to do is stretch your splits. And if you're not warmed up, maybe always make sure to stretch your quads first before you go into your splits. If you're not already like really flexible, you always want to warm it up in some little way. So I was like warming up and stretching at the same time. And then go into your split and hold it for about 30 seconds and remember to relax into it so you can push farther and that's one of the keys to holding your scale, is relaxing your body, but keeping a tight core. Which is kind of contradicting, but you'll get what I mean once you try it. And then after you're done holding your splits, you can also try doing over splits. And those will help too, and I would show you, but frankly I don't have anything to do an over split on, so, <laughs> you know. And then, of course, oh yeah, do the little warm up thing with this side too, and then Stretch that split as well. And I want you to relax into it. And well, you get it, yeah. And always warm up your back, like even just a little bit, because a scale also, a good one requires good back flexibility. And you want to feel a little pinch in your back when you're doing it. And you can just do this stretch and you know, feel a good tug over there. You want to feel this side, like pulling it. If you don't, you're not doing it right. And do it on the other side. And then, yeah. <laughs> Another good stretch you can do is, um, you want to find a doorway and you're going to do your split up the doorway, but don't put your hands on the ground you want to keep your hands right here and so remember to control it as you put it up there and if you can go all the way and then once you're out here if you can try to bring your back in here and hold that for like um, 15 to 30 seconds and then you switch and you do your left, wait, right leg. <laughs> and make sure you push yourself when you're doing this. And pull your back in there too. And then yeah, you get it. Another stretch that helped me get mine is um, I take a snuff snake, or you guys can use a belt or a rope or anything like that. You can even take a skirt or something, you know, just find something. And then you put your foot through it and you can hold it as high as you want, whatever is not going to hurt you. And you just pull it. And remember, when, when you're balancing on your leg, you want to push your weight into the floor. You want to keep your whole foot down, don't sickle it or anything like that. And just remember, Keep, just think of your whole foot just pushing into the floor and also remember to keep your core tight and keep everything else relaxed, okay? And so what you're going to do is you're just going to pull it as high as you can and keep pulling it and then you get that. And then you're on the left side too. Okay, so when you're first starting out and you want to get a good scale, you want to grab lower like grab towards your knee or grab your calf. And when people, if people can make their scale straight and grab up here, that would be great too, but it requires more 
back flexibility and it does look more impressive but that's for more advanced people if you're just starting out grab here and pick a point to focus on it could be over there it could be the crowd it could be up there whatever whatever you feel like you can make your body more stable to focus on choose that to focus on um plant your foot into the floor make it you want to press your weight into the floor you want your whole foot you don't want it to be all wobbling around you want it straight in the floor you want to hold your core and then if you're a flyer you got to pull it really fast but if you're just practicing and if you're just starting to try it out try it on the floor first and slowly pull it and just relax into it and pull it and pull it and pull it and then if you want to challenge yourself more, if you're already flexible in your back, grab your ankle this time and squeeze your back, squeeze it, and pull it again. And that's your scale and punchy thing. You know what I mean? If you're not comfortable doing it on the floor yet without any support, you can find a wall to lean against or your dresser or your bed or something. And just remember to use as little weight as possible when you're first doing it. And actually practice this a lot if you're just starting out because it helps you just practice your balance. And it allows you to go even farther into it than you can just normally standing up. So yeah, do that. And then don't forget to do your left side. I mean, you don't have to do it when you're flying, but it just helps to keep things balanced. And then higher pull and yeah that will help you too one more thing if you're a dancer there's another way that you can grab it you could just put your hand on the outside instead of the inside I'm not sure if cheerleaders can do that because I don't know about that stuff but I know that dancers do it so grab the outside it allows you to get it straighter I think and just make a pretty little dancer hand yeah, that was the last thing. So I hope this helped you guys and leave requests in your comments below. And don't be afraid to ask me how to do some flexible things. I'd be more than happy to help you. But if you can, wait a couple weeks. I'm going to teach you guys how to get your scorpion straight or your spike or whatever you want to call it. And um, if you're, there are any dance moves you're struggling with, any dance dancer things, I can help you with that. Or... Like, the only cheerleading things I can do are, like, toe touches and hurdlers and pikes. So, if anybody wants a tutorial on that, I'm more than happy to make it. And so, hope you guys have a nice day. Bye. <laughs> Was that Bob Marley on a shirt? Oh, it's the coolest chick alive.